94, from Chapter 3, Verse 53 Individual form, reality, thought construction. These are only a mental disturbance. Transcending all this, my sons will walk where there is no discrimination. 95. The Gandharva's air castle, Maya, a hair circle, and a Fata Morgana. They are non-entities, yet they appear as if they were entities. The nature of an objective existence is thus to be regarded. 96. Nothing has ever been brought into existence. All that is seen before us is delusion. It is due to delusion that things are imagined to have come into existence. The ignorant are delighted with the dualism of discrimination. 97. As memory or habit energy or vasana grows in various forms, the mind is evolved like the waves. When memory is cut off, there is no evolving of mind. 98. The mind is evolved dependent upon a variety of conditions, just as a painting depends upon the wall on which it is painted. If otherwise, why is not the painting produced in the air? 99. If mind evolves at all depending on individual forms as conditions, then mind is condition-born, and the doctrine of mind only will not be held true. 100. Mind is grasped by mind. It is not a something produced by a cause. Mind is by nature pure. Memory or habit energy has no existence in mind, which is like the sky. 101. An individual mind is evolved by clinging to mind in itself. There is no visible world outside of mind itself. Therefore it is declared that mind only exists. 102. Mind or citta is the alaya vijnana. Manas is that which has reflection as its characteristic nature. It apprehends the various sense folds, for which reason it is called a vijnana. 103. Chitta is always neutral. Manas functions in two ways. The functioning vijnana is either good or bad. 104. From Chapter 2, Verse 132. The gate of highest reality has nothing to do with the two forms of thought construction, subject and object. Where the imageless stands, why should we establish the triple vehicles? 105 through 109, chapter 4, verses 1 through 5. The abodes and stages of Buddhahood are established in the mind only, which is imageless. This was told is told and will be told by the Buddhas. The first seven stages are still of the mind, but here the eighth is imageless. The two stages, the ninth and the tenth, have still something to rest themselves on. The highest stage that is left belongs to me. Self-realization and absolute purity, this stage is my own. It is the highest station of Mahasvara and Akanis the heaven, shining brilliantly. Its rays of light move forward like a mass of fire. They who are bright-colored, charming, and auspicious transform the triple world. Some worlds are being transformed, while others have already been transformed. There I preach the various vehicles which belong to my own stage. 110. In self-realization, itself, there are no time limits. It goes beyond all the realms belonging to the various stages. Transcending the measure of thought, it establishes itself as the result of discipline in the realm of no appearance. 111. That non-existence and existence is recognized, and multiplicity, too, is due to the erroneous attachment of the ignorant. The error is to see multiplicity. 112. If there is non-discriminative knowledge, it is not in accord with reason to say that individual realities exist. Because of mind, there are no individual forms, and 
Therefore, we speak of non-discriminative knowledge. 113. The sense organs are to be known as maya. The sense fields resemble a dream. Actor, act, and acting, they do not at all in reality exist.